Today we are going to unbox, set up, and review the Pumpkin Twins from the Home Depot's 2021 lineup. Now I picked these guys up this year in 2022. Uh, I had absolutely zero luck finding these in store or online last year. So I was able to find these on Macari and I paid up a little bit. I paid a hundred dollars. Um, that was with shipping and everything. So I was able to pick these up and I'm pretty excited to have these in my collection. I have yet to open this at all. I've just unboxed it and uh, left it sit in the original packaging. So today we are going to unbox this, set them all up and get them set up with the rest of my animatronics back here, getting ready for the 2022 season. So let's open this up and set these guys up. All right, first things first, we got our directions right on top. To carefully pull these out. this is what we got so judging by everything we got here and uh, the directions this doesn't look extremely hard to put together so this should be rather quick see step one yeah see this is just connect connect them all together so we're going to take the little dude here slide them down in click into place Clothes all on right, looking right. This try me sticker off of here. They get out of here. Set that one there. And then the girl is this one. Obviously, she doesn't have pants on. She's wearing a dress. Same thing. Snaps in, pull her dress down, unfold the bag, pull her little apron down, good to go. Now they're done. Now on the back of these, turn them around. On the back, there's this cord and this cord. Connecting these two together. Snap them together. Now on the back side of Little Man, I don't know how well I can turn this around with the wires connected. There is a battery compartment and the on off switch is on the back side of the Little Man. So we'll go ahead, set these up, turn them on, check them out. Trick or treat. Don't you look scary tonight? Is my head on straight? I hope we see some ghosts and goblins tonight. You have something good and sweet. If you don't, we can be mean. Yes, be careful. We can fight. And also give you quite a fright. Trick or treat! <laughs> now, as you can see, these guys are rather small. They are three feet, but I'm super excited. I picked these up. They are available this year through Home Depot, but they have different outfits. This year, the little man is wearing a skeleton outfit, and this one is dressed up like a witch. I really like the old time look they have going on. 
Uh, I really like these outfits better than the new costumes. Uh, granted, they look like trick-or-treaters with the new new costumes, but I I like these ones better. But these are by far my favorite of the two. I like the old school versus the new version. But I was lucky enough to pick these up this year, uh, early on in the year, and I'm super glad that I was able to score these, judging by the look of the new ones. So basically all you really need to do inside here, inside the bags is uh, just put some like Walmart bags or Dollar General bags or something. Just put some bags in there to st kind of stuff these up so they're not all bunched up. Super easy, quick and simple to set up. Uh, not very hard at all. So all in all, I love them. I'm extremely happy. I'm really glad I picked them up. I love the animation they do. I like how the eyes light up. I like that they're really small, not exactly over the top huge. And I like their saying that they do. They are going to go at the foot of my porch, right by the sidewalk, right where all the trick-or-treaters are gonna come through. So I am excited to have these guys in my haunt this year. Really glad to have them a part of my massive collection here. So if you like Halloween unboxing videos, Halloween yard haunt setups, just Halloween in general, make sure to click on the videos popping up at the top of your screen and I will catch you on that next video. Thanks for watching.